Well, hello and welcome to my latest video. And you join me for number two in the great cycling climbs of Kent. And we're looking today at Pickhurst Rise. Pickhurst Rise is in West Wickham. And you may know in Flanders, they have the Koppenberg, also known as the Copperberg, a key climb in the Tour of Flanders. But here in West Wickham, we have Pickhurst Rise, known for aficionados and drivers of cars who constantly fly up and down this road as a copper field. And we are going to attempt Pickhurst climb while these cars go flashing past in the middle of the rush hour. So, I hope you'll join me for this toughest of toughest climbs as we attempt the copper field surrounded by cars. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay, well we've set off on the climb and when I've checked the data on Strava, I'll put in the information about the length of the climb, the average gradient, uh, the number of cars that close past me on the way, and that will give you all the information that you need to know. But the thing about the uh, Pickhurst Rise, or uh, Copper Field as we've come to know it, is that it is a, a relatively uh, benign uh, introduction as we go up through this this urban environment, these uh, terraced houses, back-to-back -back houses, uh, built for the poor people of West Wickham back in the Middle Ages, and now uh, occupied by, or I don't know, architects, school teachers, journalists, traffic wardens, uh, and other key members of society. So the road starts off, uh, you see a sign there saying slow, so I've, I've slowed down deliberately, not to offend anybody who doesn't like the look of cyclists. But we've, we've set off up this climb, it curves gently round here, you can see the, uh, the mountains off uh, in the distance, some of the great forests uh, planted by Harold Macmillan back in the uh, late 1950s as part of the uh, Tory attempt to deforest the whole of, the, the whole of Kent. And uh, we carry on here, relatively flat road, so I'm in, uh, I'm in one of my, my gentler gears. The, uh, the front chain ring is a 50 and the rear cog is about a 13, something like that. Now you can see up ahead uh, what is known colloquially as the copper field wall. And it's called that because once you get to it, it is like uh, rearing up against the kind of brick wall and you feel yourself almost toppling over at the, the steepness of it. Now you'll notice that the, the surface appears to be tarmac, but this is, this is uh, um, what, what's the word, uh, not actually true, uh, because this was one of the great cobbled climbs uh, of Wickham, uh, West Wickham, first used in the tour of West Wickham, one of the great cycling races, now no longer with us, unfortunately, and this was a cobbled climb, but uh, it was it was tarmacked over about two years ago uh, in the night. Uh, nobody knows who did it, but uh, they destroyed some of the ancient cobblestones, and now we we reach the tougher gradients. It starts to it starts to ramp up here. It's about 13, uh, 14 percent, 15 percent, 16 percent. You see a, a postman there struggling to, to walk up against the kind of brutal gradient. And I'm slowing right down. My breathing has become laboured. My, my heart rate is, is, going, is going through through my shirt, if that's possible. Uh, it's reaching almost uh, almost triple figures. No, it's already at triple figures. It, it's getting over 200 as I'm grinding, grinding through the gears, I'm, I'm pushing up as, as, I'm, I'm pushing up as, as hard as I can, but this is a real struggle. Most, most times when I've tried to do this climb, I've had to, I've had to get up and walk and push, and in fact, leave my bike down the bottom and then get the bus down to the bottom, pick up my bike, uh, and then go home because the climb is just such a, such a, such a bastard. But now I've conquered it. And if I turn round 
and we can look down where we've come from and we can look down at the here whoops uh, we look down through the the steepness of the copper field and you have to imagine uh, what it was like uh, in the early 17th century uh, when it was, this was all still uh, open fields and you would see uh, down there um, members of the Rotary Club, uh, Conservative Club, uh, Conservative Party members and they, they would be gambling or, or playing around in the fields or playing with the sheep uh, as they used to do. So you have to use your imagination of course now the landscape is entirely spoiled by the building of these, of these houses which are unfortunately necessary for people to live in and go to schools and doctors if they can find anyone who's not on strike. Um, but let us now turn the bike round in what's known as uh, uh, turning the bike round process and now we descend and we need to be careful because we're about to approach uh, some of the dangerous bends. There's a bend uh, down here which is known as uh, uh, Julian's Nightmare because I've fallen off a number of times coming down here down this steep bend and the road descends, descends sharply, goes down through the tree line, goes past the uh, uh, the monkey sanctuary on the left hand side goes, goes past the sloth sanctuary on the right hand side, goes through a kind of children's playground, uh, again full of sloths. There's a car coming towards us, we hope it's going to avoid us. It's one of these great big fuck off uh, four by four with a great big thing in the back so people can put their, uh, uh, their jungle frames or their, uh, uh, their, their um, bouncy castles or whatever it is. And now, as we pick up speed and we head down, down and down and down, off Pickhurst Rise off the copper field and we descend down where the air uh, becomes more more breathable and uh, into uh, the kind of West Wickham, what we call the hinterland of West Wickham, one of the first suburbs uh, to be constructed in the uh, 1930s uh, when it was felt that uh, uh, people needed somewhere to live if they were going to get the train up to London from the station which was called West Wickham which hadn't been built yet because the, plane, the trains hadn't been invented and then finally they were and West Wickham was invented, they uh, invented the train system, they invented the stations and now uh, people can uh, uh, get the train and uh, stay at home and work because nobody goes to the office anymore because of Covid and all that kind of thing. So we are gradually, gradually coming to a halt having completed our conquest of great climbs of Kent number two in a series of uh, Julian's videos. Hope you enjoy watching these videos. Hope you are inspired to get out on your bikes, whether it's an electric bike or an electric scooter or a gas, gas bike or a, a human powered bike or whatever type of bike it is or a car even. Uh, this uh, uh, Pickers climb has been used uh, by motorbikes and, and delivery riders to prove just how fast they can go under their own speed, uh, under their own steam, of course, although they're, they're not steam powered anymore, they used to be back in the early days of uh, delivery riders in the 17th century, time of George III. And now we come, we come to a halt and I'm exhausted, exhausted after my efforts, exhausted after my attempt. And I may, will I get the uh, KOM on the climb? It's unlikely. Uh, it's only been uh, successfully uh, attempted by a few people in the past and I attempted it this time but I didn't do it in a very fast, very fast time. I was assailed uh, by cars going past on all sides, this being one of the great, the great arteries now of, of West Wickham where cars go up and down, up and down all the time, they have nowhere to go uh, but they like to use the road and white vans coming along here and we draw, draw to a halt at the Pickhurst climb, Pickhurst rise. Copperfield, climb. Thanks for watching. See you next time.